home buyers associations across India have come together to form a pan-India movement called Fight for Reda that stands for the Real Estate Regulatory Authority. The objective is to push the government to enact the Real Estate Regulatory Bill as soon as possible. Nikhil Narayan Shividas caught up with the founders of the movement to understand how they intend to empower the average home buyer with this movement. Home buyers are usually left to the mercy of big builders and a callous government. Project delays, unfavorable policies, home buyers have had no say in any of this. But now, a number of influential buyer groups and activists are coming together to form a national movement called Fight for Era, which aims to fight for a real estate regulator to protect their interests. I'm joined by a few members of this group, and we ask them what their plan is for this movement. Prakash, thank you for joining us. Tell us a bit about what you intend to achieve by coming together and forming this movement. You see, millions of uh, home buyers are suffering in the city as well as in the country. There is no regulation for the most biggest industry of today. And uh, absolutely no rules and regulations are framed for that. First and foremost, there's still a concept of a deemed registration once a builder goes to register his project. This concept of deemed registration needs to go. Second and foremost, I think uh, they also need to ensure that when a person goes for registering a project, they need to disclose all details about related parties. Today, that's not there. And most of the developers have a special purpose vehicle, an SPV, through which they execute each of the projects. So that's not getting covered. The third critical issue, in my view, is uh, the bill still provides for an appeal from a uh, tribunal to the High Court and then to the Supreme Court, which means several years gone in litigation. Today, the bill which is already tabled in the parliament needs to get passed. That has taken time. It was supposed to have been through in the monsoon session and we missed it. But now this time we want to see that it gets through. That's the very purpose of trying to push and collect together to have this particular RERA, the Real uh, uh, Re Regulatory Authority Bill for Real Estates, get through the parliament. So coming to you, Ajay, what are your plans to basically make the government set up and recognize that they need to act on this and take steps on this. Yeah, so primarily, like uh, Prakash said, that you know we are otherwise, uh, they were spread all over the country. There was no unified body or a movement. So what we first start with, we've gone lobbying from city to city, getting harrowed home buyers and associations together. So today we have representation and chapters in various parts of the country, in the metros from Hyderabad, Chennai, Kolkata, Bombay, and smaller towns like Ahmedabad, uh, Pune, second tier cities. So first thing we've done is we've got together, have the, we now have a voice. We have been lobbying with various MPs uh, from the Lok Sabha, from the Rajya Sabha, meeting them on personal one-on-one -on -one basis. We're looking for an appointment with Mr. Venkai and I do. We're hoping to have his, an appointment in this coming week, the present week, sorry. So, and su subsequently we hope to have some, not like it's a peaceful agitations and protests, where we want to draw people's attention because everybody needs to stand up and take, understand the problem. In terms of housing societies or even affected home buyers who are watching this program, hearing about your movement, uh, what's your advice to them if they want to get in touch with you and the kind of help they can get from you? Um, Anyone who wants to be a part of the movement can write to us at fightforerramovement at gmail.com. They can be a part of this people's movement so that we can get a stronger act and hopefully a better regulation in this industry. So it's a big issue where every person must get involved because this is not only the per flat purchases of today, but even the per potential flat purchases of future who need protection. I have a message uh, for your view, uh, viewers through your uh, channel that each and every one should approach their uh, respective member of parliament and make a noise in the parliament to get this bill passed. This is, you know, individually what they can do is this.